this week's vote on the stimulus bill was really a failure of an, a, a tremendous failure of opportunity both by the administration and by the Democrats in Congress. It was a bipartisan consensus to have a stimulus bill that provided needed tax relief and also needed infrastructure improvement. It wasn't there. This bill went off in too many social programs and by excluding House Republicans, it prevented it from being bipartisan. I'm hoping as we go forward with the housing and banking issues that there will be bipartisan input and cooperation from the start. I think uh, the president should have gotten more involved in trying to bring Republicans and Democrats together to find common ground rather than picking off three, three Republican senators. Uh, quite frankly, I think the White House was AWOL after the bill started in the House of Representatives being so big and so unfocused on creating jobs. The Republican senators passed a bill of $440 billion that had tax cuts for business, individuals, infrastructure spending and money for food stamp and unemployment assistance, a compromise between $440 billion and the House bill of 819 is not 787. I've been involved in bipartisan deals across the board. There was never a genuine effort to get Republicans and Democrats in a room and try to find out how to stimulate the economy. And the American people want us to do something. They don't want us quibbling. They don't want us saying, well, there's this, this provision that I don't like or that. When those provisions are less than 0.01% of the bill, they want us to get people to work and keep people in their jobs. They want us to rebuild the infrastructure, and they want us to help the middle class. That's what our bill does. Well, the stimulus bill is a bold experiment. This is the kind of experiment that could only have happened with a very strong, confident leader. And because President Barack Obama has such confidence and he's so focused on turning this economy around, he stepped out in the most unusual way and asked the Congress of the United States to come up with $700 billion in order to stimulate this economy, and he got it. And he got it in a short period of time. What does this do for our economy? First of all, it is going to stimulate the economy. It's going to create jobs. In the state of California, we're going to get almost 400,000 jobs. It's going to help some people who are hurting right now with food stamps and extending the unemployment benefits. And it's an investment in our future. We're going